Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Kuat Transfer V2 2-bike platform rack right here on our 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. So the Kuat Transfer is a great bike rack if you want that unique goal post design. That makes it a lot easier to mount and dismount your bikes. The version I have right here is actually the inch and a quarter shank with the included two inch hitch adapter. So whether you have an inch and a quarter hitch receiver or a two inch hitch receiver on your Chevrolet Equinox, this is gonna work out for you. So we'll talk about those different specs, those different measurements, but we'll focus on our vehicle today just to see how it works with the car and that way you can get the best fit for you. The first thing we'll take a look at is the tilt away feature. So we have this big lever here. You're gonna to wanna to step on that lever and just let this drop down to a tilt. Why would you tilt your bike rack away? Well, that's if you wanna open up your hatch door. So you can see here, as our door opens up, we have a good amount of clearance between our door and our handlebars, allowing us to reach in and grab whatever we need. So whether we need to grab our drinks, our waters, our helmets, our backpacks, we can do so. So looking here, there was about three inches of space. So if you do have longer handlebars, that might be something worth considering. To bring this up, you just lift up on the rack, whether holding it by the mount, lifting it with your foot, or by the bike. Now this does catch into place, and just like that, you're ready to hit the road if you have everything in place. Now this is going to have a 40 pound per bike weight capacity because I have the inch and a quarter shank in there. If you do have the two inch version, you're gonna have slightly more weight capacity where you can carry your heavier electric bikes. But what other types of bikes can you carry with this rack? Well, as you can see here, we have two points of contact. One is gonna be our rear wheel cradle. The other is gonna be our front wheel mount. I like pretty much any bike rack that has that front wheel mount just because I can carry a lot of different bikes that way. Whether I have a carbon fiber frame bike like what I have here, or if I have a women's bike or a step through bike or a children's bike frame, I don't need to get separate frame adapters because then this doesn't hold it by the frame, but rather by the front wheel. But when you wanna take your bike off, you start at the rear wheel strap. So this has two levers on it actually, depending on how you wanna tighten it down. So you just press that lever and then you lift up on the strap and I like to just move it over to the side so it doesn't get caught up in our spokes. Then I go over to the front, holding on to the bike as I do so. I press this button, lift up on that mount and then I push out. So let's get this out of the way too so I can show off how you can step into that goal post design. This makes it easy to grab your bike by the frame, lift it off the rack, and just like that, we're ready to go on a bike ride. With the bike off, we gotta take a closer look at the bike rack itself. So we have our rear cradle. This tilts back and forth to accommodate different wheel bases. In fact, the maximum wheel base you can carry with this is gonna be up to 50 inch long bikes. You do have the different grooves on the inside too. That way you can carry different tire width. So whether you have your thin road bike tires or your wider fat bike tires, if you get the strap adapter, which is included with this kit, you can carry up to five inch wide tires. Here we have our front wheel mount. This can be adjusted too. When you do have those extra long wheel bases, go ahead and adjust that. Then we have our front wheel hook. So I already talked about how this is helpful with bikes of different shapes and sizes. This secures it by that front wheel. And when I make it all nice and neat, what I like to do to fully utilize the open goal post design is to close it on the outside of the rack right where that rear cradle is. Now the Kuat transfer is on the longer side when it comes to two bike platform racks. So let's take some measurements to see how much length it adds to the back of our Equinox. Measuring from the bumper to the end of the rack, which is by that lock core for your cable lock, that sits at 31 and a half inches. So that's gonna be a length you're gonna have to think about whenever you're packing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot. If you do have the two inch shank version, you can actually extend that bike rack out so you can carry more bikes. 
A very important measurement though for the Equinox is going to be ground clearance. And that's going to be measured at the end of the rack to the ground 15 and a quarter inches. Compare that measurement to the shank though, which sits at only nine inches. So ground clearance is very important because you don't have much ground clearance. When you go up those steep inclines, like your driveways or hills, your front's gonna go up, your back is gonna go down, and you wanna make sure that your bikes don't hit the ground. Good thing is that this ground clearance is pretty good. We have that shank rise, your bikes are higher up. A bonus is if you do have your heavier bikes up on there, you're not lifting them up too high. But what if you're not planning on going out for a bike ride just yet, but you also don't wanna take your bike rack off? What you can do is you can fold it up. Remember that lever we stepped on earlier? We'll go ahead, press that lever, but this time lift up on the rack. It snaps into place into the compact and portable position. Taking some measurements here, the closest point seems to be from our bumper to our cradle, and that is three and a quarter inches away. The length now added to the back of our vehicle is from the bumper to that foot lever, 11 inches. So big difference compared to when this is folded down. You'll want to end this position when you're just planning on driving around town and you don't want to take up too much space. And that was a look at our Kuat Transfer V2 two bike platform rack on our 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.